welcome to the Riviera Theater in North Tonawanda, where the sound of the mighty world show organ has been popular for generations. Thanks to the Niagara Frontier Theater Organ Society, we'll be there for future generations. Society Vice Chairman Don Lang tells us about the majestic old movie house. Well, it was built uh, in 1926. Uh, originally it was built by the Yellen family, it was taken over by the Shays, went through the Dipson theater chain, and from then on it went through a whole bunch of private individuals. And uh, just recently the Niagara Frontier Theater Organ Society purchased it in order to save it from destruction. Uh, we've been correcting a lot of defects in the building. Uh, electrical, plumbing, uh, we are coming up with having to repair the roof or actually replace the roof. We've done some repairs on it. And uh, we are conducting a fund drive to replace the seat, or repair the seats. All the workers are volunteers with the exception of the projectionist and our general manager. What type of programming do you have in addition to this Mighty World Tour organ? Uh, we're running movies seven nights a week. We're going to have matinees. Uh, we're getting a lot of live entertainment. We have a circus booked in, a small circus, a magic show. Well, what can you tell me about this beautiful console? Where did it come from originally? Well, it was built uh, right here in North Tonawanda, at the Wurlitzer plant. Uh, it was built for the theater. It was installed in the theater when the theater opened in 1926. It was a demonstrator model for the company. The artist in residence for this performance was George Gragey of Cleveland, who has been in love with the theater organ for 20 years. This was his 13th appearance here. This was basically designed to replace a full orchestra to do the movie scores, the movie soundtrack, the movie music of the old silent movies. of Pauline right now. There are th uh, three manuals, which means there are three sets of keys. Mm -hmm. And then there are two rows of stop tabs, which control the sets of pipes that the keys play. Now, there's so many special effects. Now, we were looking at them down the line. Now. We saw, first of all, the cathedral chimes. OK. Those are played from the keyboard. How about your Chinese gong? Chinese gong is played with the left foot. And a snare drum. The snare drum is done with the left hand. And uh, horse's hoofs. Horse's hoofs. That's done way over here with the right foot. There are some castanets, too. Okay, castanets. And the old fire bell. Fire bell is done with the left foot. I just peeked behind the, the curtain to the, uh, the right of the stage uh, from the audience view, and I saw some pipes there. What can you tell me about those pipes? Well, those are uh, foundation pipes, real low notes. And then backstage, hanging on the wall, there's a set of what we call a solo strings. Mm -hmm. Those could be comparable to a bass violin. We climb the ladder, and uh, what do we find up there? Up there, there's a lot of sets of pipes, which produce various sounds. There's tubas, uh, English horns, uh, orchestral oboes. And I noticed some uh, uh, horizontal, flat-type uh, uh, pipes. What were they over on the other side? Those are diaphones. What do those, they do? those also produce very low notes. They're the bass uh, notes. Where's the brains of all of this? Uh, the brains? There must be some kind of a central relay station, or whatever you would call it. Uh, everything in, it goes from the console down into the basement through a switching 
uh, central down there, which would be comparable to a telephone switchboard. And overall, uh, how many how many pipes would you, would you say? There's you have? Uh, uh, approximately three thousand. Oh my! Different sizes and different, different materials, sizes, ranging from about a half inch long, about the size of a, a diameter of a lead pencil, uh, to the biggest one is sixteen foot long and about a foot and a half square. In addition to the pipes, we have uh, various sound effects. We have a player piano hooked up to it, an exolophone. Chairman of the Niagara Frontier Theater Organ Society represents a new generation. The purpose of it is to preserve theater organs, not exclusively in the Riviera Theater, but to preserve anything associated with the theater organ. I enjoy being part of saving this. I remember my parents always talking about the theaters and what it was like. And my father used to bring us down here when we were kids to see the organ concerts. That's where my original interest started. And just to imagine what it would have been like. I know I've never was a part of it, but to think that might have been what it was like. You're part of the future now. Right, aren't you? right. Fine. Hopefully saving it. We can use people to do concessions, sell tickets. Uh, every day the theater has to be cleaned. We can use people to come in here and clean. You name it, they can do it. They're welcome to come down and just look. Labor of love? Right. Yeah. Thank you.